Well, hi there again. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to find the slope of a best fit line. So here we have our data already plotted. This is our distance and time data for our little battery-powered buggy. And here are our, our data points. Now, we're going to first thing we need to do is, is plot a best fit straight line. So I've got a, a drawing tool here, a line. And this is under your uh, insert menu and shapes. You grab the line. So if I drag this down here, the idea here is to represent all the points as best as you can with a single line. And so I'm going to try this one right here. And I see that, OK, here's my point here. My line's a little low. It's a little low here. But the line's a little high. It's a little low. It's a little low. The line's a little high here, high here, low, low. So I'm going to estimate that, on average, this is about the line that represents our data the, the best. So there's our best fit straight line. Now, the way these, data, these points are bouncing around, that is normal. That's called random error. When we took our timing, sometimes we're a little too quick, sometimes we're a little too slow, but we have to expect that. Uh, and if we have enough data points, if, the, if these uncertainties right, are truly random, then they will average out in the long term if we have enough data points. OK, so there's our best fit straight line. It represents all our data points. And once you have the line, we're going to forget about the points. The line represents all the points if there is no random error. OK, so I have got some graphic tools over here to help, help me choose a point. So I see these grid lines here. And I'm going to use those to help me choose a point. Um, so I'm going to choose like this one up here. I can see the this my blue best fit line crosses the 100 centimeter mark right about there. And I'm going to choose one uh, on another point kind of far away. So this is our we're choosing two points. And here's one here where it looks like it crosses a, a grid line. So I'm going to choose that one where it crosses the 20, 25. So there are my two points I've chosen, which is a T1 and D1 and T2 and D2. And now that I've, I know this D2 here is 100, what is the T2 associated with this point? I have to come straight down. So I'm going to use this little graphic line to help me find that. Come straight down. And I can see it's a little more than halfway between 1.8 and 2.4. So halfway between would be 2.1 somewhere around there. So I'm going to estimate that this point where the line crosses is maybe 2.12. So there's the number right there, and that's why I've chosen that. So same thing over here. We're going to do that with this with the green circle. We know the, uh, the, the distance value is 25. So we're going to come over and use our little graphic to help us find this point here. Well, halfway would be point three right there. So this would be point four, point five, and a little more than point five. So I'm going to estimate that to be point five three right there. And that's where this value comes from. Point five three. So there I've done it. I've chosen my two points, this one and this one, kind of far apart. And then this one is two point one two and a hundred and this one's point five three seconds and twenty five centimeters. OK, so what to do with these points? Well, now that we have them, we're going to uh, use the slope equation that we learned in math class. Here, the slope is the difference in the y values divided by the difference in the x values. Well, our y values for our data is distance. Right? The vertical axis is distance. So I have their, a difference in our distance values divided by the horizontal axis here is time, the difference in our time values. So I've color-coded them, D2 and D1. That's right here, D2, D1. So there's D2 is 100, D1 is 25. And those are centimeters. So we're going to plug those into the equation. So we have D2, 100 centimeters, minus 25 centimeters. And on the bottom, T2 minus T1 is 2.12 seconds minus 0.53 seconds. So I can do that math. 100 minus 25 is 75 centimeters. And this difference here is 1.59 seconds. And if you do the number part, 75 divided by 1.59, you get 47 
So that's our numerical value of our slope. But some units come along with that. And the units here are centimeters and seconds. So centimeters on top, seconds on bottom, centimeters per second. And that is the slope of my best fit line here. Okay, so now it's your turn. You do yours. Good luck. Bye.